अब मैं अगले स्पीकर को आमंत्रित करूंगा अगले स्पीकर हैं प्रोफेसर शाहब फजल आप प्रोफेसर हैं अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी अलीगढ़ में आपका टॉपिक रहेगा लैंड रिसोर्स कंटेम्प्रेरी इशूज एंड चैलेंजेस और मैं बिफोर कॉलिंग शाहब फजल आई शेल गिव ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट हिम प्रोफेसर शाहब फजल इज अ प्रोफेसर इन जियोग्राफी एंड ही ऑप्टेन ग्रेजुएशन एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ राजस्थान and later on he joined amu and completed his phd uh, professor shahab fazal is having research interest in land use uh, land transformation issues in urban fringe remote sensing and gis he has published 16 books and more than 70 research articles in various national and international journals he is recipient of prestigious post doctoral fellowship such as fulbright in 2013 14 commonwealth in 2004 shastri scholarship in 2003 and 2009 netherlands visiting scholar uh, visiting professor 2011 dst dad 2000 2001 dst young scientist award 2000 and csir srf in 1991 to 93 He has successfully successfully completed four major projects sponsored by DST, ICSSR, DST Dad, and SICI Canada. Professor Fazal has also coordinated several refresher courses, winter schools on disaster management for UGC Academy Staff College at AMU. He was also coordinator of DST sponsored winter school on application of GIS and remote sensing for natural resource management. Professor Fazal has. also coordinated mhrd sponsored uh, gyan program in 2018 uh, board is yours friends uh, good morning um, it's a pleasure to to be interacted with so many people and that too in this difficult situation pandemic situation where not many um, opportunities are uh, for us to interact uh, so i would um thank the organizer for giving me this opportunity uh, actually i would be speaking on land resource uh, and as my previous uh, speaker has explained the the um <clears throat> census of india uh, some information from census i would be using so that way um in some way my my um task has become a little easy um <clears throat> you see why land resource is important land resource is important because for all kinds of activities of human being uh, we require some space and in the discipline of geography also you all know that space is very important and in that sense i would say that land resource is very important um as a discipline but but more so because a uh, land resource resource is required for all kinds of uh, human activities uh, but there are there is one issue which is very important um, um, and that is that this resource is finite in many ways it it is very important because we all know that 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 if uh, the land resource starts to decline um i mean the the uh, due to the competition of of people you, as to how they are using uh, then it becomes a little um, problematic and with this basic framework i would be speaking on on this particular uh, theme <clears throat> and i would be uh, i'm i want to share my screen anyway so what i was saying that i would be speaking on land resource and uh, i would be highlighting some issues and challenges which we all are facing um, which may uh, lead to some issue related with land resource that is the sustainability issue also so so uh, i would be focusing on land resource and i said that this this is a finite resource and you also know that for all kinds of activities of human being Uh, we require land resource so that way the competition for land resource with the increase in population um, it has increased substantially and uh, you see every owner of of the land it uh, he and she he or she feels that the way he or she is using it that is the best way of of using it but here the perception about land that is very important and um, and that is why all kinds of conflict in land resource uh, the use of land resource uh, is coming up uh, over the globe uh, 
Um, very quickly, if I can say that world population has increased significantly in the last 100 years. So what does it mean? It means that the land-man ratio, it is declining. And it is declining very rapidly. And you all would agree that earlier, the places, the locations where the, the, the human population was not at all living or what it was not occupied at all by the human people, human population, these areas have also been occupied by, by, the, by the people all over the world. And it has also uh, happened, happened in India also, where a lot many areas which were earlier had natural vegetation, now people are utilizing it for different uh, reasons and different uses. Um, very quickly, if, if I can say that how the land transformation and land use is taking place all over the globe. That will give you an idea that with the increase in population everywhere, the land use is changing. So uh, I'll be focusing on India, but uh, my initial two slides um, deals with the entire globe. Now you would find that the, out of the total land area, which is available, available for the human being, 54%, more than half of the, that has been modified. Modified in the sense that whatever natural way, natural vegetation was there, it was changed a uh, change of it. And out of it, 24% was through agricultural activity. So you all would again agree that wherever the physical conditions were favorable for agricultural activity, there the human being with the increase in population, they, they, they are performing agricultural activity. And in the peripheral area of the, these fertile agricultural land, the pasture lands uh, have, a, have come up. And in other parts where the people are not living there, uh, at diff other locations, there, there is forested areas. And you all would agree that with the increase in population, uh, the human infrastructure has also increased. Not only human infrastructure has increased, but more and more population now living in urban areas. Now you would see that urban area occupy only 5% of, of the, the total land which is available to the human being. But you all would also again agree with me that urban pop, um, uh, these urban areas have greater concentration of population. Now urban population have some characteristic. And one of those characteristics is that they are more resource consuming. Now, there is some kind of contradiction that I am saying that the urban areas are more resource consuming, but they are confined to smaller land uh, share. That is only 5%. Now, during the course of my presentation, I would be trying to explain this uh, later on. But right now, I can say that this is something conflicting, that only 5% of the land is urban land. Uh, to the, uh, in, the, in the entire globe and out of the total earth area, um, half of the population is living in, uh, in these areas. But you have to keep in mind that this uh, the urban population is more resource consuming. Now come to India. Now India is, all the time we said that it's a large country. Uh, surely it is a large country. Uh, but you see, if we compare it with other countries in relation with the population of our country, then we can understand that what is the what is the the status of land resource in our country? Because you all would agree again that that um, most of us, most of the countries now in present day scenario, we are not going to increase our our uh, land. Uh, it's very difficult. There is possibility, no doubt, but but it is very difficult. Uh, and since our country is um, developing as a, one of the developing countries, so this is not so possible in near future. Um, I, I hope and wish that that uh, we should have peace over the earth and this kind of aggression and this kind of increase of land um, uh, may not happen. May should not happen over the earth and. Uh, India should not involve in it. That is my personal opinion. Um, but you see, in general, you all would agree that land resource is not going to increase. <clears throat> so, so this is a finite resource and we need to make uh, use of it very judiciously. 
So what I was saying that that land resource is very critical, and you all know that India was known as Sone ki Chidiya because at that time the the resources in our country was so rich that the people from other countries they came to our country and utilized and exploited our resources. This was because the population was much lesser in our country. so th that is the 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 point which i want to make that the land man ratio is very important and with the increase in population you see if you look into the statistics we occupy only 2.4% of the world area and we are, we are having a very large population um now i'll just give you an idea that how you how small or how big we are we have about 3.28 million square kilometer and if you compare it with usa or china they are almost three times more than us if you look into the population you see we say that we are the second largest but only marginally uh, presently uh, we have a, an estimated uh, population of 135 crores and china is only marginally ahead of us it's 139 crores now if you compare it with usa it is only 32 crore so that way the land man ratio plays a very important role um, and again i would say that if the land resource is not being used judiciously then um, we may have some issues and challenges which may come up <coughs> now few more important characteristic of our land resource you see <coughs> net zone area is 1.4 million square kilometer so if if you only look into the agricultural land and per capita land it is 0.12 hectare which is almost half of the world average now again i would say that this is no um, uh, statistics to prove any hypothesis but this will give you an idea that how we are utilizing land resource because you see our country is agricultural country and if um, we are having um land resource which is stressed then we may face some kind of uh, challenge in 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 future the population is increasing the agricultural land is uh, we are losing in the last uh, since 1990 is of the magnitude of 3.2 million hectare annually we are losing out 1.5 lakh hectares so these are some real figures which 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 is um of some concern to the human population in our uh, uh, in our country so <clears throat> there are few questions which i would be raising and try to to explain these what is the land transformation trend of land transformation how it is changing what are the driving forces and what are the challenges and do do we have a serious issue of loss of agricultural land these are the issues which i would be trying to highlight uh, in my presentation um any discussion um any discussion cannot go without discussing the population and we uh, you had uh, one session on um, uh, census so very quickly we all know that the population of our country has increased um, up to 2011 census uh, but the important part is that that the urban population has increased significantly it is still 31% in 2011 census but this 31% is important in the sense that one point which i i have said that the urban population is more resource consuming um so that is one issue again i would say that this i will be dealing later on but the point which i want to make is that this 31.2% is also quite substantial why because you see it is comparable the our urban population is comparable to the total population of united states so that that way our urban population despite the lesser share of population it is quite significant and it will it has certainly has impact and uh, bearing on on the different land um, use changes and land transformation Uh, in our country that is what my submission here is that urban population the share might be appearing as lesser but it is quite dominating um, this do demographic characteristic is quite dominating on the land resources this is the point which i want to make here then one more important thing um, uh, i'm not sure uh, uh, i'm sure that you all might be aware of this fact that 
in the last census decade between 2001 and 2011 first time in the census history the the increase absolute increase in urban population exceeded the ex, absolute increase in rural population that means that the despite of 70 odd percent of rural population the absolute increase was lesser than uh, the urban population surely this is because of large scale migration also but this statistics is also important in the context of how the resources are being used in our country and specifically the land resources being used in our country so there are many issues uh, which are coming up um, there is the case of land conversion there is a case land conversion means that land use is being changing uh, land intensification means that that how the land is being used we are using it for uh, more intensively so land intensification is another important issue and with the change in the socio economic environment of our country there is two more issues which are which are land abandonment land degradation land abandonment mean, mean, means that land is being uh, left away for it is not being utilized at all at all and when i say that land intensification is taking place there is also the case of land degradation so these are important issues uh, with the population increase in our country and the declining land man ratio there is one more important uh, phenomena which is very important in our country and that is for land fragmentation now land fragmentation means that uh, you all know that that in our country uh, the land owner owns the land but it is divided into his family members um, uh, whenever he he dies or um, uh, by his will he divides uh, the land into his family members so because of that all the land holdings in our country it is getting fragmented this is also an important challenge and issue in in um, related with land resources in our country so what is the implication of it gradually the large farmers large land holdings are shrinking and it is getting smaller and because of that this land abandonment is uh, becoming more and more common there is important change which has happened uh, in the last uh, 20 years in the last two census decades is it is that there has been substantially substantial increase of non agricultural uses non agricultural uses are quite obvious because india is developing and when india is developing that means that all kinds of development especially infrastructural development will take place and when it will take place that has been categorized into the non agricultural uses but there are some more important issues uh, one is that as i have said earlier also the 3.2 million hectares of agricultural land we have lost out because of Um, all kinds of transformation there is important land use which is the fellow land fellow land is aap sab jante hain parti zameen jise kehte hain there is increase of 1.6 million hectares now fellow land is very important and i i'll be explaining later on all again and the another is the 2.3 million hectare decrease now you see this is very interesting that 2.3 million hectare land has of which was assigned to culturable wasteland it has decreased so these are another uh, these are some very important issues which are related with land use in our country as well as land transformation i was talking about the fellow land fellow land means that why the land is being put idle this is because because either they do not have the irrigation facilities or um, they do not have any uh, inputs for performing agriculture or there might be some pressure and because of that they are not using it and this is another important characteristic where i would say that it is it can be termed as speculative land holding and again i would say that this i will be discussing later on and cultural waste is decreasing because government is making a lot of effort to transform the the wasteland into the agricultural land but here a lot of investment is being made by by the government so what is happening i would say that we are losing out agricultural land which is um, um, which is naturally um, uh, available to us 
and on the other hand we are investing a lot to lesser productive land the government is spending a lot of money to develop the agricultural land from the cultural waste land so there is some kind of uh, conflicting uh, um, um, what i should say uh, initiatives by by the government and the happening uh, development from from the socio economic condition in our country but important is that now um very quickly as a student of geography i just want to depict as to where, what is the status of land use and i have picked out few hot spots very quickly if i can show you that, that there are some very important land transformation hot spot uh, for example one is the punjab plain now punjab plain punjab and haryana plain you all know that it is known for its agricultural activity and here if you look into this particular portion there are some red spots the larger red spots these red spots are built up area um, now the larger uh, red spots are urban areas and the smaller dots if you can see here um, these are our rural settlement now very interestingly in punjab and haryana with the increase in population only between 91 and 2011 if you will see now uh, i have um, the, the red drop uh, dots have become very prominent it means that that this um, area the punjab haryana plain the built up area has increased at the cost of agricultural land now this is only because of the increase in population so this is one hot spot for me um, for the land transformation another is hyderabad and kaveri region now another interesting is the hyderabad area hyderabad area the built up area is increasing but it is not increasing on agricultural land it is the wasteland and barren land which is uh, which is being transformed so this is another scenario in our country where wasteland and barren land is being used for urban development uh, urban expansion now if you look into the kaveri river basins now here you would say that see that the forest land is decreasing and crop land is increasing so the here the agricultural land is increasing so this is another interesting uh, hot spot in assam valley you would see again the forest land is decreasing and crop land is increasing now this kind of situation is happening in our country so so i would say that uh, since the time is limited so i'm not going into the detail i'll be discussing all these issues um, but the point which i want to make is that that where how this land transformation is taking place that is very important and very critical and again interestingly if you look into these statistics again you would find that this is the land transform land use statistics which is being provided by government of india uh, you won't get you cannot draw much out of it uh, at one glance so i have summarized them interestingly you would you would see that the forest area since independence have increased now it is interesting again i would say why because uh, our understanding suggest that the forest area should have declined or because of human activities the forest area has declined that's true um, the other studies it's uh, apart from government of india uh, our study also uh, the study which i am uh, i showed you um, when we used the remotely sensed data for the whole of the country we found that the forest area have decreased by more than 7% but here the increase is significant the increase in government record is only because they have changed the definition of forest um, uh, in 70s and 80s the change was in the aerial extent and also the canopy density and because of that forest has increased so um, we should not be very excited Uh, when we look into these records uh, we have to verify and cross check the pasture area there is increase but since 71 it is decreasing so pasture area is very important and i'll be again discussing later on i'll come to this fellow land <clears throat> overall decrease that means that means that um, after independence there have been many initiatives and because of that for example irrigation facilities for example inputs of green revolution so because of that all the land which were which were left idle the farmers they were now using it but interestingly after in 
uh, 91, when the economic policies have changed in our country, I would say, because uh, then thereafter, there has been increase. Agricultural land has overall increased, again, because of initiatives by the government, uh, some incentives and some uh, inputs of Green Revolution were um, uh, provided. You all know that, that, that the agriculture initially in our country was dependent on monsoon, but with the increase in development in technology and uh, prosperity has come to our farmers because, of, and there has been a lot of government initiatives. So because of all that, net zone area has increased. But again, as the fellow land, uh, fellow land has increased and agricultural land has decreased since 91. The reason um, in both the cases are the same. So these are some important land transformation issues. Uh, now, <clears throat> Non-agricultural uses, again, I would say that everywhere, every state has recorded almost, every state has recorded that uh, between 91 and 2015, uh, it has increased. But most of the increase, they are coming up in more, in the states where actually it is not being reflected. Uh, you see, um, I come, I am uh, right now in, Uttar, in the state of Uttar Pradesh, and since the uh, it is one of the most populous state of our country. Um, the infrastructural facilities are somewhere, I would say, very stressed because despite of the maximum infrastructural development, we are still short of many of the uh, smaller states in terms of infrastructure. So here I would say that there is some kind of dichotomy where um, some states have more investment, but it is not being reflected. They, these states do not have... Um, in, uh, the investment is not in proportion to the population. But if you look into the, the net zone area, now this is again interesting. You see, Rajasthan have recorded more, uh, it has recorded maximum increase in net zone area, agricultural area. This is possible only because of government initiative, uh, extension of irrigation facilities, etc. So Rajasthan, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh, these are the states where naturally Agricultural conditions are not very favorable. Here, the ag agricultural land is increasing. And Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Odisha, Maharashtra, these are the states where, where the net zone area is decreasing. This is increase interesting. Now, again, if I can come back to the net zone area, we have decreased. Total cropped area, it has increased. Now, it proves the, the point which I have made earlier that there is more and more land intensification. So intensive use of land is happening. The cropping intensity is increasing. The irrigated area is also incre increasing. So all, all in all, I would say that, that we are progressing um, in some way, but we are also, um, because I would say that if we have more intensification of agriculture, then it also has some ill consequences, uh, ill effects also. Uh, you all know about it. So we we have to look into this uh, particular issue also if we talk about the resource sustainability, land resource sustainability. Now, very quickly, it is very interesting that, that I have said that net, net zone area has increased or decreased, but where it is increasing, you all would agree that agricultural activity, agricultural land is very important in our country because majority of population still live in rural area and they are directly or indirectly related, uh, connected with the agricultural activity. So now where it is increasing, it is increasing in Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, etc. And where we are losing out Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra, Karnataka. So, so you can see that with the areas which are more productive, we are losing out agricultural land. The areas which are less productive, less productive because the physical conditions are not uh, conducive for that kind of activity. There we are losing out the agricultural land. Hmm. Non-agricultural land, everywhere it is increasing. Fellow land, again, you see, increases are in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat, decreases in UP, Bihar, um, uh, West Bengal, Odisha, and Maharashtra, etc. Now, another important land classification, land use, is the permanent pasture and grazing land. Now, again, it is very interesting that Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Maharashtra, uh, Karnataka 
Andhra Pradesh, these are the states which have larger tribal population. And in, in these states where larger tribal population or the population which are dependent on the, the, the common lands, pasture lands, grazing land for, ra for raising their animal and for carrying forward their uh, livelihood. In these states, we are losing out permanent pasture and grazing. So this is again important issue that the permanent pasture and grazing land we are losing out in those states where the tribal population or the people who are more dependent on this kind of um, uh, land use for their livelihood, there we are losing out. Forest land, forest land, Jammu and Kashmir, we are losing out. Assam, we are losing out. So these are the states where the forest lands uh, we are losing out. All in all, I would say that this is where we have to look into that how the land is land we are losing out. So the positive change would be that barren land is transformed into forest, pastures, etc., or the net zone area, uh, the cultural wasteland, fellow land should transform into net zone, net zone area. But it is these are the desirable changes which we want. But actually what is happening, as I am saying, that fellow land is increasing. Now, despite of all the effort by the government, despite of all the, the pressure of, of people, more and more farmers, they are um, now shedding the agricultural char characteristic and they are not performing agricultural land and they are leaving their land idle. So because of that, fellow land is increasing. And it is increasing by the magnitude of 1.6 million hectares, despite of all the effort. Now, I would say that these are the land which are speculative land holding, where the landowners, they are keeping an eye on the land market. They, are, they, are, they just want that land value should increase and then they would sell out their land for um, other kinds of activities. Wasteland, wasteland has declared, declined because of governmental initiatives. But on the other hand, the land degradation due to the erosion is of the magnitude of 32 million hectares. That is substantial. Now, this is maybe because of the intensification of land use also, especially in Punjab and Haryana Plain is a good example where water erosion, uh, water related erosional uh, incidence is much more common. <clears throat> Now, um, with this background, um, I, in one of my study, I, I tried to find out what are the reason for, for uh, this kind of change. And if the agricultural, if we can uh, make a linear regression where agricultural land has dependent variable and urban population roads, because urban population means that um, uh, the, with the hypothesis that uh, urban people are um, more resource consuming, so it, the pressure of urbanization, it, it, uh, how it is related with the agricultural activity or agricultural land, <coughs> road re reflects the infrastructural development. Now GDP, the industrial contribution and agricultural contribution, both of them have been used separately as to how they are influencing the agricultural land, irrigated area, and in technological sector, number of tractors uh, that has uh, been used uh, for this regression, uh, linear regression equation. And my results suggest that it is um, R2 is 0.989. That means it's quite significant. The urban population is uh, negatively, it has adverse impact on the agricultural land, of, which is very significant. Road. Not so significant, but it is also affecting the, the agricultural land. Industrial GDP is impacting the most. So that means that the industrialization, although the industrialization, you all know that the level of industrialization is not so significant. But I would say that industrialization GDP is also might have some input from the tertiary sector. So all in all, the the higher order economic activities, they are contributing a lot to the primary sector, especially the agricultural sector. And it, both of them, the urban population and the uh, GDP uh, from the industrial sector, they are uh, greatly uh, influencing the loss of agricultural land. <clears throat> 
uh, in the most of in uh, if i can take all the states uh, i can say that most of the resource states of our country they are all having the land use which are not at all sustainable and they are uh, there is unfavorable land transformation again because of the paucity of time i would very quickly sum up this this particular aspect now <clears throat> you look into the how we are losing out agricultural land um I, as i have said that most of the resource states they they are losing out there uh, the district level uh, studies also suggest that most of the agriculturally prosperous uh, districts there the agricultural loss is very significant uh, but there is a lot of lot of um, argument and discussion about the special economic zone um in one of my study i have find out that the these the states where um, higher um, special economic zone allocation have been done there also the losses are significant but when i look into the that how much um, uh, special economic zones can contribute you see um, in our country there has been 491 for, uh, formal approvals for special economic zones 352 has been not notified and only i again highlight this term only 50000 hectares of the land has been acquired in the name of um, uh, special economic zone in our country which is not so significant but its implication is higher and because of that that uh, the uh, the land transformation is so critical in our country now another interesting fact which i would like to highlight that cag have Uh, highlighted uh, in one of um, their report that out of this this entire allocation to of special economic zone only 43% have been utilized not only that but also uh, but also 14% uh, have been diverted uh, for commercial reasons so this is uh, also important i'll skip this because i have got the message that i should now conclude um, you all would agree that more and more farmers uh or land owners they are getting margin uh, the land holdings are shrinking and because of that marginal and small land holdings um uh, are increasing in our country very quickly if i can show you that how land transformation in, in taking place at uh, national level but if if you, if i can take only at the aligarh city you can see that that the vacant land which is coming up in the peripheral area has become very dominant and when i am saying fellow land here i would say the speculative land holding which is very dominant and uh, i talked about the road development if you look into the city you would find that all the transformation it is more common along the road than the the uh, away from the road and this can be visible over here that that away from the road it is not taking place similarly the land transformation is much more dominant along the road than the further from the from the roads so these are some uh, inferences which i can draw at national level and at micro level also actually um, i am presenting from national to micro level but i started my research from micro level to national level so i have um, these are the important conclusion which i can draw from here now one more important thing which i would say which is very important you see if i can if i have showed only the urban area of aligarh city which is a very small city it's not so significant but if i can enlarge the area i just want to show you that, that how the urban influence has its implication and bearing on the peripheral area you see this is the municipal limit of aligarh city and i am talking now about the entire coal tehsil which is somewhere around 50000 hectare with time the agricultural land has decreased and vacant land which i am saying fellow land and in the rural area or in the peripheral area it is the speculative land only speculative land this is this is increasing this is increasing at micro level so these are very important challenges and um in the gis environment i did one study uh, and i found that the land fragmentation is so dominant that now larger la agricultural land holdings are only 10% of the total area that itself suggests that 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 how the land 
fragmentation is taking place how the land holdings are shrinking and it has its implication on the economic activity agricultural economic activity agricultural uh, resource in our country <clears throat> very quickly you see master plan has been um, debated a lot in uh, in my city i have found that there has been large scale violation that means that whatever has been proposed in master plan it is not on the ground there is large scale violation and many of the proposals they it remain undeveloped and within the undeveloped land there is lot of speculative land holding that is um, where some other transformation will take place so all in all i would say that master plan in city area is also not going perfectly there is also large scale violation and if i can show you that out of the 9900 hectares in aligarh city there is uh, only 3000 hectares have been developed where more than half of it is um, violation and majority of the land has remained undeveloped that means that the proposal have been made uh, pro uh, the land um, authority aligarh development authority the city development authority has proposed but it is um, it it has not developed as proposed and there also violation is taking place so that is what um, i i just wanted to show because i have got the message um, that i should conclude thanks a lot thank you sir thank you very much i have written no my i have written my observation in chat box i hope you will see uh, um, i would suggest you that if you can um, if you have any question or observation you can put it on the chat box so i'll till now there is no question i have seen i am browsing the chat box uh, from the beginning but it was an impressive session with you you have explained the land transformation and land use uh, in a very effective manner with a uh, very good mapping tools uh, and i am very sure that with your presentation uh all geographers we are getting an insight that how we can we can uh, we can uh, we can draw our presentation to show the spatial variation or the spatial distribution of any phenomena thank you sir thank you very much uh, from the organizers and uh,